So the first step in provisioning a new user is to create them in the domain. So I can go in and I'll choose administrative tools and then I'll go into my Active Directory users and computers. Now if I wanted to I could just go across here into my users object and right click and choose new user. But I've already created a number of other users so the quickest and easiest thing for me to do is to copy one of those existing users. So rather than go through this process of creating a user here, I'll just speed up the process. I'll select one of my existing users and I'll choose copy. That brings up that existing user object. I'm going to put in my new user details. So I put in my first name and last name and these are all of the users who are currently on the SAP Business One Cloud demo server and these are uh, members of the SAP Business One internal team. So I'll put in that person's uh, identification number, put in a password and again I've switched on strong passwords in my policy settings which I would recommend that you do and I'll choose next and the user is now created. So if I go and I look at that user's properties now, you can see that one of the things that I've done is I have made them uh, a member of a group called SAP Employees. So the advantage of taking this approach is I've created security groups, set up all of my registry and my security settings according to that group, and then all of my new users I'm adding in to that specific group. So you can have different users in different groups according to how you've decided to structure your landscape. So that's it. My user is now created. The next step is to go into the Cloud Control Center which is the web-based tool for provisioning our cloud infrastructure. And I'm going to log on to the Cloud Control Center. And I'll go across into Application Management. Click up on Application Management. And then I'm going to choose my tenant because I'm adding this particular user to a specific tenant. So I'll go across into User Management. I'll choose New and then I'll open up my new user function and I'll put in the domain username. I click on check name and you'll see it's validated across against my domain so that's all good. I'll click on add. Now I'll scroll down because the new user that I've added is always at the bottom of the list so I'll select that user and then I'm just going to allocate the licenses. So in this case, I'm going to give them a professional license, SAP add-ons license, and so on. Choose all the licenses, add my SDK tools license as well. Click on finish. And that's it. The licenses are now allocated to the user. And once I refresh my user information, what you'll see, if I scroll down to the bottom, is that there's the new user that I've created and you can see there's the licenses that are now assigned to this specific user. So it's very, very easy to provision those users and that user has now automatically been provisioned across into SAP Business One. All I have to do is log on to SAP Business One now and any changes that I've made in my Cloud Control Center will be synchronized. So let's dive across and let's log on to SAP Business One. I'm going to go in now into my modules because my user has now been provisioned in Business One. Just let the cockpit load up. So let's now go into Administration. I'll go into Setup, into General, and I'm going to go into Users. Now if I do a lookup, what you'll find is you'll find that my user is there but it's in there with their I number. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the, um, the user name from being an I number to that person's full name. Just makes it a little bit easier for me to manage. The user code is automatically matched across to the user uh, 
account that's in the domain and this is what enables business one to now operate with single sign-on I'm going to select that this user is a mobile user and they've provided me with their mobile device um, unique ID so I'm going to pop that in here and then I'll choose update and you'll see the system's just going to remind me to check um, that I've got a mobile phone number put in there so I'll pop that in there as well remember this is a standard part of just doing your business one provisioning uh, for any users that's got that are going to have access to a mobile application so I'll pop that in there I'll just tidy up the formatting of that just get rid of any spaces that are in there that's done so now I'll say update it's just going to remind me it's going to pull in some additional information which is fine it's reminding me again make sure that the user has been assigned a B1i license in the license manager and we've already done that in the cloud console but I'm just going to go and double check that just to make sure it's all okay so I go into my license administration find my user and they'll usually be the last user in the list if I'm doing this in sequence and I can see yep all those uh, licenses have been allocated correctly so nothing for me to do there I'll just say okay and that's the process of making sure that the person is assigned with all the uh, the correct licenses uh, and I've updated them so they can use their mobile device with the cloud server now one of the other things that I might want to do just to make my life a little bit easier is I'm going to go and I'm going to create a cockpit and I'm going to call that my cloud management cockpit so we'll select uh, cockpit management I'm just going to create a new cockpit and I'll call it cloud management and then I'll choose update so now I've got my new cockpit entry there and you can see that's now popped up over here so if I go into that cockpit now what I want to add is I want to add my common functions because I want to make it nice and quick and easy for me to do all of my administration so we'll just relocate the widget up the top and now I'll go in and the functions that I'm going to be accessing on a regular basis I'm going to drag across so go into administration into my setup and I'm going to drag across my users function then the next thing I'll probably want is I want my license function because this is something I'm going to be checking and accessing on a regular basis so we'll drop that up there as well and then I think I'll also need one more step so when the user is provisioned by the cloud console it's provisioned with no authorizations so I'm going to need to also allocate the authorizations across to my end user so let's drag across our general authorizations function onto our widget and now I can go in and use that general authorizations function and allocate my authorizations to my user so I've opened up my authorization screen and I'll go and find the specific user that I'm looking for and there's my user and you can see that they currently have no authorizations so I'm going to grant them full authorization in this situation but there's a couple of things I want to change now to lock down the system a little bit tighter I want to remove the ability for the person to go and launch applications because I don't want them to be able to shell out of SAP Business One and access the operating system so I'll update that and then the next thing I also want to do is I want to uh, give them no access or no authorization to the execute commands again for the same reason but you know you will know uh, how you want to provision your users that's just a couple of things that I'm doing in SAP Business One to make sure I've got the system locked down to my satisfaction 
And then I'm also going to take away the power user functionality and the power user is our new definition of a super user in the cloud system because we reserve the super user for some other, uh, other functions and other tasks in the cloud console. So that's it. We've gone through the process now of provisioning the user and they can now log on.